morning. <laughs> Good morning. How you doing? Makeup is done. Compliment my eyelashes because I haven't put mascara on in three months. And I did it today for the first time and they look really good. So I need some validation. Guys, I was planning for today to be the most like Bus fun. Club. New York City. We go Night everywhere. Club. We do Plane. everything. No sleep. No fear. I was literally going to take the freaking train to Central Park and just walk around and be cutesy. But I just don't want to. I really don't want to. <laughs> I kind of just want to get food and call it a day. You would think being a teenager in New York City is very exciting and fun and awesome all the time. For some people, it definitely is. Like, there's a good chunk of us who, like, they just go crazy every weekend and live their best life. And good for them. I am not them, though. I have had some fun weekends, okay? I do leave my house. Sometimes. But most of the time when my friends and I hang out, we will go get a fun drink, sit at a park, and like eat food in places. And that's really it. And I love that. I have more fun doing that than going to some like shitty pay to enter venue party that ends up getting shut down in like 30 minutes anyway. You would think it's New York City, the parties are good. No, they're not. Granted, I've only been to like five, but all the five times have just they've sucked anyways i don't know why i'm talking about parties because it's not that kind of video today it's literally sunday let's focus on today my plan is to go ship to depot packages oh my god it's it's sunday the post office is closed you know what i'm gonna get out of my pajamas first and then we can decide what the day we'll bring i love doing this this is my favorite shirt because it's the only one i own that makes me look like i have boobs so obviously i love it i figured out what I want to do today, guys. We're going to go to the deli. And then after that, I'm going to get a little drink. Not an alcoholic drink. No, no, no. A fat ass chai latte. Anyways, let's go get food because I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Oh my god. Also, side note, look how cute my room looks right now. It's so sunny out today. My beautiful yellow fur comforter. Yellow fur? What the fuck? Days like these make me not want to leave my room because it's just so beautiful and sunny and gorgeous. But if it's sunny through my window, that means it's also sunny outside. And real sunlight is probably better for me than bootleg window filtered sunlight. So I'm still gonna go outside. Mm. You know the food is good when it just shuts you right the fuck up. I can't speak. I can only eat right now. Oh my god. That's lettuce, roast beef, turkey with this is what makes it oil and vinegar. Can't get it without the oil and vinegar. That's what like brings all the flavors together. Guys, every time I'm in public, I'm so afraid that I'm gonna run into Matthew Gray Googler. This is it. your man. Yes. I have like very good luck with celebrities, I'm not gonna lie. I met Lola Tongue in a bagel shop. I saw Emrata in a Joe and the Juice while I was wearing my Harry Styles Love on Tour sweater, which was a little awkward. But Matthew Gay Goobler is the one person that everyone I know has just universally met. Everyone I know has a selfie with him. And I'm really nervous because I'm obsessed with Criminal Minds right now. That's like my show. I've literally watched five seasons in three weeks. But anyways, now I'm scared of running into Matthew Gay Goobler because like he's literally just a character in the TV show. He's not. I can't, like my brain can't fathom that he's a real person. I'm like scared to leave my house without mascara and shit on because what if I mean Matthew Gay Goobler and I don't look good in the photo, then I'll just kill myself. Like, I feel like truly blessed right now. Oh my God, I'm in a park, it's sunny. I'm eating my favorite food. Oh my God, I could cry. If I was on my period, I'd be crying right now. Eating is like my favorite thing to do. There's really nothing that tops this type of joy. Biting into a good sandwich, like, I've never been happier. Mm. Yeah, my foot's falling asleep. Also, these jeans are very low rise, and I think all my underwear is out. But it's fine. My last bite. Oh my god. I love food so much. I think I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit until I find a place that looks like it has a good chai latte. And then I'm gonna get a little drink and have a beautiful day. <laughs> Fuck that, let's go. What the fuck? It was so sunny and warm for a second. I think I just waved to someone in a random window. That was really fucking embarrassing. <laughs> change of plans. I saw that my friend Rochelle was near me because I stalk everyone's locations and she and her my friend Mary are hanging out but Mary's not there yet so we're gonna surprise her because I told Mary I was babysitting and I'm not so I need to book it though because she's almost there so 
<laughs> Hi vlog! Am I gonna be on your YouTube? Yeah! <laughs> what is this? Oh, um... Uh, chai <laughs> latte with almond milk and lavender. Oh, that's so good. Like, my heart's beating so fast. Holy what? shit, I like ran here to freak her out. <laughs> Where is she? Uh, she, I don't know. She's pulling up. <laughs> We're hiding from her. We're just like putting our heads down. I want to look back. Can you? Should I look? She sees us. She sees us. She goes, okay, she does it. Okay. I did tell her that I was sitting right outside. Can yeah, you you're fucking her? stupid. Go again. Go me. Cricket. <laughs> <Don't think it. laughs> Look, it's us. Three tries tries the tears. <laughs> wow. Guys, my nails aren't done, don't worry. Aw, that tastes so good. Oh yay. Popcorn at. Just made a potty. <laughs> right now we are spontane actually spontaneous food for, um, for me only. You guys have had these plans, but I just crashed them. And we're going to see Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott. Come with us to watch all the strangers. <laughs> 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 This is just a beautiful area. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just forget to drink water when I'm out and then I come home and I'm like, why does my head feel like it's about to fall off? And it's because I'm fucking dehydrated. Mm. Guys, that was so fun. I'm so happy I actually saw people today and I didn't just walk around alone for a little bit. Sometimes it's much needed, but I'm very happy that I saw my friends today. It was good for my soul. They were hanging out to see a movie called All of Us Strangers with Paul Mescal, my baby daddy. One of my baby daddies, I should say, because I have a lot of loves of my life in this world. Paul Mescal is one of them. It also has the guy from Fleabag, like the hot priest or whatever. Everyone said it was really good. Personally, I had no idea what was happening the entire time. It was like an A24 movie movie those always put me on like a little bit of a trip i'm a little too slow for them i love a movie with just like a normal plot like a beginning middle end clear structure but this movie it was like first they made it seem like it was a love story then they made it seem like it was a coming of age and then everyone was just like spoiler dead in the end like it was all just like one big purgatory like dream i don't even know we literally had to look up all of us strangers ending explained afterwards because we were like what the fuck did we just watch we walked like all around the west village and it was like sunset too so it's perfect we took some instagram photos i haven't like actually like sat and like like posed for a photo in a long time. I feel like freshman year was like the thing you would like hang out just to take instagram photos and you would like you're like oh this is a good spot which is really just awful to look back on. It makes me want to die a little bit. But we were like, you know what? Let's take some photos. Like, this is a cute spot. And the photos were cute. Like, I was not expecting to actually them to turn out well, but they did. So I'm just going to lay in bed and, like, play music and look through the photos I want to post on Instagram. That's, like, maybe one of my favorite things in the world to do. I don't know if that makes me a narcissist or, like, vain or whatever. But, like, curating an Instagram post brings me so much joy. You're just hanging out, looking at 
pictures of yourself. I don't know. I probably sound really fucking stupid right now. Like, <laughs> I promise I'm not obsessed with myself. I mean, I sort of am, but like in a healthy way. Self-love is the best love, if you know what I mean, because nobody's obsessed with me but me. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go to my room and look through the photos. I'll show you guys my favorite ones, okay? I'll bring you into this process. We got my comfort mushroom lamp on. I got it for Christmas and it's, whoa, it's dark. What the fuck? Let's play some music and get this party started. Oh my god, wait, did the photos not turn out? Why do I look stupid as fuck in all of them? Aww. Wait, I look cute. Okay, never mind. These are so good. Damn. Wow. I'm so happy. Okay, let's listen to Taylor Swift. This is the best feeling ever. We're gonna bump to this and look through photos together. So exciting. Come on. And say the one thing I've been wanting, but no. I'm getting distracted. I'm focused. Take out coffees later. But no. That might be like my favorite song of all time. Like truly, genuinely, without a doubt. Oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've narrowed it down to three, six, nine. We have ten photos. Let's post them on Instagram. Ugh, this is my favorite thing ever to do. Oh shit, guys, my camera's about to die. Mega Mind check. Twins. I do love getting ready in the morning, but I equally love taking my makeup off and washing my face and getting into some cute cozy pajamas, turning my sunset lamp on, and watching a little bit of my TV show, depending on what it is at the current moment. For a while, in Vampire Diaries, but I could not get past season five, which is heartbreaking because I loved the show, but eventually it just got really bad and I like physically could not sit through an episode. So then I moved on to Criminal Minds. Oh, it's my eye. Oh, oh, oh. Guess what time it is? Sure. Let's watch some criminal minds. It's 4 a.m. I just watched like five episodes straight and it's literally four o'clock in the morning. I finished season five. I'm already on the fourth episode of season six. This is so bad. Oh my god. At 1 a.m. I was like, I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep now. But then I was like, I'm actually not that tired. I could do one more episode and then I watched two. And an hour and 20 minutes later, now I'm fucking exhausted and I have to be up at seven o'clock in the morning tomorrow because I have school. I'm gonna clock out and get three hours of sleep tonight. Really looking forward to the after school nap I'm gonna take. But thank you so much for watching. Today was literally perfect. I ate bus food, I got a delicious chai, and I saw a movie with Paul Mescal in it. Like, what more could a girl ask for? But I'm clocking out now. Should have done that four hours ago, but I did not. This this is just me experiencing the consequences of my own actions. I probably will do this again sometime this week, next week maybe, because I have zero self-control when it comes to TV shows that I like. So this is not gonna be a one and done experience. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that fun stuff. Peace, bye-bye.